Let's talk social media. Pinterest.com is probably the number one site you should be visiting, and for two reasons. The first reason is that it's a great place to source current trends and see what other people are doing. At the top of the page, there are different categories, handmade, design, vintage, and so on, that you can select to get different ideas on different designs that you'd want to do, maybe do yourself, anybody out there who are designing. But a lot of times companies will post their pictures and their cards up here so that people can give them feedback, just so you know that. So just different examples of what's being uploaded on the site. And you can see there are handmade cards and different design techniques and watercolors and die cuts and embossings and so on. I encourage you to check Pinterest.com for all the different types of things that are going on right now. And they could be some things could be, you know, coming back that maybe was done. Some of these techniques could have been done maybe 20, 30, maybe even 100 years. I mean, greeting cards have been around for that long. If you see someone else's artwork or cartoon characters that maybe you like and use them for inspiration for your own designs, whether you're doing something in the handmade realm or if you like a particular character, like I grew up loving Charles Schultz and Bill Waterston's Calvin Hobbes, I would study those comics for not so much ideas, but trying to understand the flow of the artwork. And I think it's really important to always have resources available to you, books, and just paste them on the wall behind your computer or on your computer. It doesn't matter. So the idea is really just to fire something inside of you, ignite that passion of creativity, and it gives you a great opportunity to see what's going on and also uh, what, what the trends are. It could be in color, topography, those types of things. Is the color working? So the second reason really is to showcase your own work. Talk about instant feedback. People are going to follow you if they like your work. Uh, you'll build up clientele, possibly from Pinterest. You'll build followers and people will share your work. And that's probably the, the most important part of this. And the other thing you can do is even if you're not finished with your designs, you can post artwork in progress or these are some cards I'm thinking about doing and especially if you have a built-in fan base they're going to give you the feedback that you need instead of doing just the f feedback in person you can also do something online now you just have to be careful um, even though everything you put on there should be ha should have a copyright symbol there is still the threat of someone taking your idea so hopefully uh, that won't happen to you but you just have to be very careful with some of your designs that are not published yet. But basically, the copyright law is now that as soon as you create something, it's copyrighted. And Pinterest is a great way to you know, show as proof. Well, I've already posted this, and I'm not sure if Pinterest can show you what date you posted it, but um, that's another way to protect your work. So, again, there's just so much here to choose from to look at for your own stuff 